Hey guys, Walker Dybel, author of Buy Then Build and creator of the Acquisition Lab. I was on a podcast uh, yesterday being interviewed and someone said to me, listen, listen Walker, um, you claim that the Acquisition Lab has this world-class education. I wanna dive into that. What is world-class education? So I wanted to make a short video explaining um, kind of what our goal was when we created the lab and how we went about delivering, designing and delivering the content so that you can understand what's in the DNA of the lab, right? So after I wrote By Then Build, um, I was getting probably a dozen calls a week like, hey, um, can you help me find and buy a business? And it's like, no, that's crazy. I can't do that. Uh, and I was very inspired actually by two individual companies. And the first was Veritas Prep and the second was Codesmith. And Veritas Prep really brought this kind of elite test prep uh, experience to people who are wanting to do their best um, you know, on the GMAT and get into the best business school that they could. And the other is Codesmith, which um, Codesmith uh, has the single best uh, coding accelerator intensive for you know, people that wanna learn how to you know, become full stack engineers and get high paying jobs. And it was a combination of these two companies that um, really inspired me to say like, look, rather than just say like, hey, I bought, you know, I, I wrote a book um, and I'm an entrepreneur, check out my online course. I really wanted to build something kind of exceptional. And even though no one else uh, was doing anything like this at the time, I said, let's pretend that there's others out there and let's go at this and build the very best one, right? So the mission was really about creating a transformative accelerator Okay, that would help would be entrepreneurs um, find and buy a business at the caliber of the world's best universities and most celebrated accelerators. I'm not going to say that we can be a Y Combinator. It's sort of a different um, um, segment of, of entrepreneurship, but um, I, I, it's my dream that Acquisition Lab becomes uh, um, at, you know, as, as effective um, as something like a Y Combinator or, or you know, an accelerator at a, at a celebrated university. So. This sort of built the framework of the lab being, okay, well, we need to anchor in world-class education. Then we need to build out effective tools and resources as well as a supplier network in order to um, increase repetition and speed uh, for these people, uh, for these, our members coming in. Three is a vetted member community. Um, if you are interested in, in finding and buying a business, please do not let that intimidate you. Um, we want to be open for everyone who uh, can actually do it is the, is the, is the point there, right? Um, uh, four is small group coaching, okay? So rather than doing one-on-one, -on -one and we want everyone to be able to learn from each other's experiences and also make the whole thing more effective. We'll talk about that in a second. And, uh, and ultimately, my goal is the fifth thing, which is the sort of network externalities or the X factor that just comes in uh, play from building the momentum and getting the results. Um, that we've actually been getting, right? So um, uh, what makes our education world-class, right? What is this world-class thing? So uh, there's, there's five or six things. First is just great content, okay? And I know you're watching this now going, Walker, like, you know, level this up. This video is okay, but let's go. Here's the thing. Great content um, comes about in sort of two ways, right? So the first is that it's both strategic at the macro level, but also very, very tactical and applicable to what's happening at this time, right? So, so there might be um, um, you know, some kind of framework, but then it's like, well, how do we apply that framework in this situation, right? And it's, in my experience, it's been that um, relationship of having that full vertical of strategic and tactical that makes great content. Second is experiment experiential frameworks, okay, supported by research and data. So in other words, I can go out and spend a decade, you know, buying all these companies, uh, but um, I'm one person. And so rather than have, you know, seven one-time experiences here in St. Louis or whatever, what can I learn by interviewing other people that have done it? What can I do? What research exists out there? And there's a lot coming out of, you know, Stanford and um, um, Pepperdine and, and whatnot, and a lot of, you know, certification programs that do a lot of research in this space, M&A programs. Um, and uh, so we look at that data, we look at that research, and then we ingrain it into our frameworks, okay? And uh, that's, that's how we built uh, the frameworks. And so what I did was I wanted to go ahead and test a lot of our materials. And so after 17 years in the trenches, okay, uh, I was working on my blind spots, got all the certifications that were possibly out there in the private capital market, started working as a broker to, to, to get exposure to other deals that weren't mine, invested my, in minority positions in other companies. Um, I've consulted on hundreds of acquisitions, 
um, totaling hundreds of millions in, in value and everything from sub hundred thousand dollars all the way up to about 180 million. Okay, it was the biggest deal um, that I was consulting on. Then I took all my work and I went out there and said, hey, here's some work. And obviously I'm a Wall Street Journal and USA Today bestseller. But the thing is, is, is you know, I've, I've also appeared, my, my written work has, has appeared in Forbes, Inc., Entrepreneur, Fast Company, Harvard Business Review. Um, then I went out and presented at, you know, sort of elevated entrepreneur groups like the Scale Up Summit with Vern Harnish, Blue Ribbon Mastermind with Ezra Firestone, Entrepreneurs Organization, Mastermind Talks, right? Um, sharing the stage with some crazy big names. Um, then I went and also spoke at, you know, MIT, Duke, Columbia University, University of Illinois, Northwestern, okay? And then I expanded my content to include search funds, which, which really isn't a focus of the lab, but I took that and I ran two semesters at the Olin School of Business, um, teaching entrepreneurship through acquisition or acquisition entrepreneurship is how I chose to call it because of our unique angle. Um, uh, but the thing is, is when you talk to all of these groups, when you're, when you're teaching at a ranked university, you really need to raise the bar in terms of what's going on. What I love about entrepreneurs is they wanna run fast and apply it. What I love about um, celebrated universities is that you need to really have uh, exceptional content in order to uh, get get you know great reviews from from the students who are then uh, uh, going to lead a more transformative life is what you hope okay so that's number one great content number two um, expertly designed and expert expanded so expertly designed I didn't just make a bunch of slides and say like hey here's my stuff I hired a curriculum designer someone who makes accredited university curriculum as well as certification programs and worked with her uh, to build out the core content in terms of how all the frameworks would get put together, okay? Um, I then, uh, I, I did what's called expert expanded. So, um, you know, I do a talk on how banks work in the lab and like how, how we need to work with them and approach them and all the rest of it, but we bring in a lender, right? Uh, we, we go deep into you and what you bring to the table. We bring in um, um, a, an expert who runs uh, personalization assessments on, on thousands of executives um, to figure out, okay, where is the thing, right? So, so we, I worked with um, a uh, placement, uh, I worked with, with two individuals, I'll just say, to help build out our custom buyer profile that we work uh, with you. And then um, any area where I can't be the expert or I can only take it so far, that's where we expand the core curriculum by bringing in um, experts and it's not just like hey here's someone who you know does SBA loans for example I'll have an actual uh, lender one of the best in the country come in and teach um, sort of on top of of what I'm teaching in order to expand that content and allow the members to ask any kind of questions they want without any specific deal at risk right by asking by fear of asking dumb questions or anything like that okay that's two um, then the thing is, is that's great. Okay. We can have sort of like great content and, you know, expertly, uh, designed and expert expanded content, but where the lab really makes a difference in my opinion is that we are in our DNA, we are results oriented, right? This isn't like, how do we sell this class? This is like, how do we get entrepreneurs actually to, you know, um, have success? And, you know, the thing is, is that the, the data is very hard to get a hold of, and it depends how you chop it up. Um, I'll go ahead and make this claim because I believe it's directionally accurate, but based on some very loose information that we're able to gather from surveys and, and from the, the experience of our group and the results of our group, I'll tell you that you have a t about a 250%, you're, you're about 250% more likely to buy a business if you come through the uh, acquisition lab than if you do it on your own, okay? Um, that's just what the, what the results show. Um, and so being results oriented, there's sort of these four other components that go on top of the two I've already talked about. Um, the first is um, engaging higher order thinking in order to cultivate deep learning in the members. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, there's Bloom's taxonomy, okay? And my wife is a teacher, and this is also what we covered with my curriculum designer and all the rest of it. And, you know, down here at the, at the first base level of learning something, you've got knowledge or remembering that knowledge. You've got understanding or comprehending that knowledge, okay? Which is, you know, what? Exams and stuff. Then you have application of that knowledge, right? So, so how can we apply these things um, that we're learning? And I'm gonna kind of draw a line right here, okay? And the argument that I'm gonna make 
is that this is where most uh, teaching actually stops, okay? Is I'm gonna teach stuff, you're gonna understand it, and then I want you to go apply it, okay? Um, and that's, that's great, that's wonderful. I've got a, a program called the Masterclass and that's what it's for. It's, hey, go take this and go do it, okay? Um, but it's really the, the, these three levels above of analyzing, evaluate, or synthesizing, and then creating, okay? Where you're able to take the things, the information that, you've, uh, that you remember, you comprehend, and you apply, and now you're able to go out there and analyze existing deals. You're able to evaluate and synthesize information. And then you're creating your own business plan and your own experience and your own execution, okay, in a greater environment of other people doing it along with you with common language and, 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 and all the rest of it that comes with it, right? So then I offer, then, then the next thing is just-in-time training, okay? So in other words, during this part down here, when you're going through our intensive, which is the first month of the acquisition lab, we are not teaching you really anything about due diligence because no one in the first 30 days of the acquisition lab should be in due diligence. Not really. I mean, exceptions happen. Okay. They come in, they're like, Hey, I've got a deal. I need help. Let me sign up. Right. And they kind of, we will help, we'll help them out in that situation. We advance them. Um, but the, but the point is, is that, um, you know, we could bury our members in, in, you know, pushing knowledge, right? And it's like, look at all this sick value. You can't even comprehend everything that we're giving you, right? Uh, and the, the, that's not the point. The point is, is we wanna get you what you need and the tools that you need and the network that you need and the, and the service providers that you need and, and, and the information you need in order to get started with higher order thinking in terms of um, a, applying it in the real world which then will create that you know, deep learning of how to do this, right? Uh, from there, as you start to gather things and deals and whatever, you're starting to review, you start to have questions, you start to have cycles, and you come into all of our coaching, our search forum, all the rest of it, you have resources, you've got a whole, um, I call it the encyclopedia of you know, knowledge base. Um, then there's further lessons about you know, de you know, deal structuring and um, uh, due diligence and all these other things that come later. Cause like, you don't need that on your first day, even in your first four weeks. Okay. Um, we, when we, we did the lab once in a weekend, a two weekend session, and we way underestimated the transformation that was happening, even just in the four week period. Um, and so we realized that, you know, you can't do this. You can't do this in a weekend or two weekends. This takes time. This takes time. I can crush you this in a weekend, but you're not gonna you're not gonna get it. So the JIT training is fundamental in how we built the the education component of of the lab. Uh, fifth is uh, what I call the diamond method of coaching. So we we coach via the diamond method, which means that um, the private capital markets are opaque, they're fragmented. Um, and you can't have one expert or two experts that are going to say like, hey, let me break this down so you can understand everything, okay? Especially when you're, when you're up here trying to analyze, evaluate, and create, okay? People have different experiences, and I can talk with, it was during my, it was like when I started by then build, I actually started going out and interviewing people that had done this in order to actually build sort of a book of best practices. And what I learned was that it wasn't, it wasn't a best practice kind of um, depth. It was... Uh, tons of fragmented um, and and individual experiences, okay? And you could talk with someone who, who bought a number of businesses and someone else who bought a number of businesses and their experience is completely different, right? So I ended up uh, anchoring in frameworks um, and then and then uh, uh, that's that's what Buy Then Build is, right? It's, it's the prep funnel, it's the AE matrix, it's all the rest of it. Um, so, so coaching through the diamond method means this isn't the Walker Dival show, okay? Um, even just through the intensive, I think you interact with like four different coaches during that period. Then when you come into the lab as a member, okay, what happens is almost every single day of the week, uh, we have a different coach available to you. When you're in our Slack channel, we have two different coaches available to you. We have everyone from um, due diligence specialists to people who own manufacturing, bought manufacturing companies, to people who have bought online businesses, to um, service companies and all the rest of it, right? Uh, from all walks of life. And so you've got, um, uh, you, what I want you to do is I encourage you to take your deal uh, and as you're doing your search, you, I want you talking to all of the, of the coaches we have. I think we're at 11 coaches currently. Um, we're hiring and we're bringing in another one this week. Um, so there's 12 coaches in addition to me. 
that um, all work with you in some capacity or another, depending on where you are in your search and what it is that you're looking to do. Okay. And so I want you to be talking with all these different people because as you are evaluating and creating, you need to figure out what your own truth is. Okay. I can't tell you to buy a specific business or not. Okay. I can teach you the things that you need to know and we can work together through all these other features in order to get you to, to what your own truth is. Okay. But the, the diamond method of coaching is basically saying like, look, don't just talk to one person, use a suite of people who have experience doing this so that you can come up with your own decisions and create your own future and reality and masterpiece and life of ownership, okay? Um, and last is um, sort of a result of why we went with sort of a vetted community rather than just letting anyone in, uh, which was we want rapid learning cycles through expansive experience, meaning, you know, if I'm in a, if I'm in a Facebook group with a hundred people and 99 of them are never actually going to buy a business, then, you know, do like trying to get advice in that Facebook group is frankly terrible. Um, it's, it's a version of the blind leading the blind, right? Whereas when you come in and, you know, you go through the intensive and we start applying it and we do the case studies and then we start like looking at real deals and very small, uh, group coaching, uh, environment. And go and the search forum is there to actually you know help you go through a deal forty to sixty minutes at a time. Um, the 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 point is is that like when you are sitting next to somebody else virtually, and they're going through their deal in Omaha and you're in Las Vegas and they're looking at a similar type of business and neither of you want to move or even a different kind of business but might have some of the same elements or the same growth opportunity. You're able to go through and start to analyze, evaluate, apply. Okay, as you're working to create your own um, uh, business and acquisition. So those are the six things that go into what makes the Acquisition Lab world class. I hope this was helpful. Um, and if you are looking to buy a business in the next six months to 24 months, uh, please check us out. Uh, I hope that you agree that we are the best in the world and we'll see you on the inside. Thanks so much. AcquisitionLab.com.